Okay, in this video I'm going to explain about the indices. This is one of the questions uh, asked by one of my YouTube students. So I'm going to teach him how to solve this question. And then at the same time I will bring another two examples to make you guys understand better about the indices. So it's very simple. So whenever you see 8, 4 or 2 or 16 or 32 or 64 or 1, 1 to 8, you have to know actually all of this is the number power of 2. Okay, so when, when I get 8, I know actually 2 power of 3, I will, I will get 8. When I see 4, I know 2 power of 2, I will get 4. And then I will see 2, uh, this is 2. Lah. So I know all of this is related to the 2, and but then they have the different power. Okay, so now, so whenever you see the bracket like this, you have to know actually your 2 have to multiple negative 1. So let me multiple first. So this one I will got is called 2, uh, 8, negative 2. Because 2 multiple negative 1, I get negative 2. Okay, multiple. Okay, this one 4, I can change to 2 power of 2, power of half divided by 2 power of 4. Okay, and then in order to solve indices, it's better for us to actually change every number to the same base, mean every number we also change to the base 2. Okay, so number 8, actually I know 8 is 2 power of 3, so I change this one to 2 power of 3, and then power of negative 2, multiple. Okay, in, in, in this world, we know that actually divide means the power you have to minus. Multiple means the power you have to plus. So, okay, I multiply this one in first. So, yes, so when I want to multiply this in, I have to know 1 over 2 multiples 2. I can simplify, I will got 1. So, this one called 2 power of 1. Divide means minus. Divide means minus 2 power of 4 means minus 4. Okay, do you see this? This one actually I can change to this one. Because this is 2 power of 1 divide 2 power of 4. Means this is something like uh, okay, a power of 4 divide a power of 3. So we can write like a power of 4 minus 3. 4 minus 3 because it's divide. Okay, then very simple. I just multiply a negative 2 and then multiply the negative 2 into num the 3 over here, I will got 2 power of negative 6. Okay, plus means we have to plus in the power. 2, uh, 1 minus 4, we got negative 3, plus negative 3. However, we will got, this is 2 power of, uh, 2 power of okay, negative 6 plus negative 3 is negative 9. Okay, I think this is the answer. However, if you want to write in a fraction form, this one will become 1 over 2 power of 9. Whenever you see power got negative, means it's 1 over. Okay, this is something like you got a power of negative 3. Whenever you see negative, means 1 over a power of 3. If you got a power of negative 5, means 1 over a power of 5. Okay, this is very simple. Okay, yeah, I hope, I hope this example can, can help you understand better about indices. Of course, I will bring another two more examples. Okay, this is one of the past year questions. And then I think it's quite simple, so I'm going to explain this one faster. So, you, you see 8, 8 is 2 power of 3. I know this one related to 2. And 4, of course, related to 2, this 2 power of 2, you got 4. So, however, I'm going to change this one first. So I change the 8, become 2 power of 3. And then I put the bracket. And then I have 3x minus 1. Later I have to multiply it. Equals to, okay, 1 over means what? 1 over means the power will have negative. 1 over means the power will have negative. So I change to 4 power of negative x plus 5. Okay, 1 over mean the power will be negative. Okay, you must understand this one. Okay, of course this one now I multiple. I will got 2 power of 9x minus 3. 3 multiple both. Okay, 4, I know this is actually is 2 power of 2. 
Okay, and then negative, I multiply in. I will got negative x minus 5. I negative, I multiply to the both. Okay, and then I just, I just expand this one, means multiple 2 into the both also. So 2 power of 9x minus 3 will equal to 2 power of negative 2x plus, uh, no, minus 10. Okay, now whenever you got the equal on the middle and then you have the same base, you can ignore the base, you only compare their power. So therefore, 9x minus 3 will equal to negative 2x minus 10. Then I move this one to that side, become positive. So yes, so I will got 9x plus 2x, which is 11x, will equal to this one move over here, is positive 3, negative 10 plus 3, we have negative 7. Okay, so x will equal to negative 7 over 11. Done. Okay, so this one is very simple so but then you must understand about the rule so this rule actually tell us that we will get the negative so for example you got 1 over a we can write this one is a negative 1 if you got 1 over a 2x power of 2x this one we can write a power of negative 2x okay you must understand about this rule then you can solve this kind of question easily okay so last example for this video okay this is one of the famous question in past year question yeah for indices so so of course a lot of students when they, they see 36 uh, 32 or 64 they do not know actually this one is related to 2 so, so now I hope you can see this one actually this 32 is 2 power of 5 Okay, so I'm going to change 32 to 2 power of 5. Okay, and then I bracket. Okay, 8 is 2 power of 3. Okay, and then we have a 5m. Mean actually this one, we have to multiply 5m. Do you see this? And then it equals to 1. You must know actually 1 whatever number power of 0 you have got 1 unless 0 power of 0 lah. so now I say all, all of this I want base is a 2 so 1 I can change to 2 power of 0 this is the very 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 important things information before you able to solve this one okay of course you got another method to solve which is you move the 32 to the other side become 1 over 32 you can solve like that also or maybe late, later I, I teach over here. Okay, now we continue for this one. So this is called 2 power of 5. Bracket me multiple, right? Multiple 2 power of 15 m equals to 2 power of 0. Multiple means the power we can sum up. So 5 plus because it's multiple, both also is 2, 15 m equals to 2 power of 0. I say when the base is the same, we can ignore the base only compare the power so 5 plus 15m equals to 0 so 15m equals to negative 5 m will equals to negative 5 over 15 therefore m will equals to negative 1 over 3 okay I just simplified divide 5 divide 5 divide 5 okay yes I say I'm going to teach you another method not to say another method just use a different way to solve it Okay, so I, let me write one more time, 32, 8 power of 5m equals to 1. So I can divide 32 for both sides. Okay, I, when I divide 32 over here, when I divide 32 over here, I divide 32 over here. So over here, 32 and 32, I solve it, I got 8 power of 5m equals to 1 over 32. I mean actually something like I move the 32 to the other side. Okay, now... I change everything related to two. This is called two power of three, power of five m equals to one over two power of five. Okay, so now I can multiply. I got two power of fifteen uh, m equals to. I say one over means the power is negative. Okay, five. So fifteen m equals to negative five. 
m will equal to negative 5 divided by 15 so therefore m will equal to negative 1 over 3 see at the end you can get the same answer okay i hope this video can make you understand better about indices anyways yeah thanks for watching